I'm going to talk about containers um, on the HPC side. Containers can mean like a large number of things, and I think every time someone says container, they mean it. Oh, I see. Can you not? Okay. Linux. All right. Let me try. Uh, okay. So uh, I think in the HPC space, when I talk to people when they want containers, what they usually mean is I want to have the same software environment that I'm running on my local machine, on my binder, or on like a cloud based shooter hub on my HPC space. So this is just like one aspect of containers, um, but I think it gives you a lot of things, um, especially if you can use it with. Slurm or whatever it is that your HP system already uses. So, are people here familiar with MyMiner or I'm hoping y'all are? Uh, so, the, the 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 very quick way to explain that is, you know, you have a repository that you know says what environment you want, and then you give it MyMiner or you don't even understand block files, you don't even understand containers. It just builds the environment for you, and then you can use it in different environment. But this, you know, runs on cloud with Kubernetes, all of this stuff. But um, you get there's no reason that it needs to do that. You can do something very like similar on your HPC system using container files. So there's lots of them that are focused on the HPC space. The one I like the most is called Charity Lab. Uh, it came out of the Los Alamos uh, National Lab. Um, and of the main ones, I like the technical implementation direction the most. So I'm going to have a hopefully quick. Demo. So the the idea here, the idea here is I wonder if it has to get this up. Probably not. Anyway, so the idea is I have a repository. I'm running it on my laptop. Um, I can run this on my binder already, and now I'm going to run it on my HPC version. So I, this is uh, this is too small to read. I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna do this here. But um, if, if I had shown that in the way that you can read, um, what you would have is there is a project called Repo the Charlie Lab. So Repo the Docker is what my finder.org uses. You do it in a repository or a directory and it builds a Docker image. Um, and if you use Repo the Charlie Cloud, it just wraps around Repo the Docker. But instead of giving you a Docker image, it gives you a tarball, which is what Charlie Cloud uses. So you can build this image on your local machine on some service that your HPC cloud provides that is separate from you know your actual HPC machine. So we don't want to run Docker or any of this over there. And then you can copy this image to your HPC cluster and then run it as uh, you would run a container, but without needing Docker, without needing all of that entire stack of technology. It just gives you the image um, and. I'm just so I have a Jupyter app that's running um, that has this. So um, if I had shown that demo earlier, you would see that it's setting up uh, from a repository called Python with R. It's an example that we have. Uh, it sets up, you know, like uh, it has an example notebook, it installs MacBook, it installs R, it sets up R Studio, it has like does a bunch of complex stuff, uh, but with just you know a couple of files to like say apartments.exe and say I want R. Um, and then it built that image into a form that can be used next piece set. And I have a sample of Jupyter Hub set up that will, you know, like basically let me see how that experience is like. So it's signing with GitHub. Um, and so this is this is inside a Charlie Cloud container. This is not a Docker container, um, but you get, you know, like the fact that it's like a full file system, um, it's installed all of the things that I wanted to have. Uh, and if I go inside home, uh, there is, you know, like an example file that I've set up and it has a hello world. And it also has Matplotlib installed because I specified that in my reference.exe file. Uh, so I know Matplotlib uh, is, is present. And I think, I think I got RStudio installed as well. So let's see. I did. Okay. Uh, and I think, I mean, the cool part of this is, let me show you the repo that it all came from. Oops. Uh, 100 typing. I don't know why I did that. Our 
this one. Right, so if you can see it, um, it has a binary directory and it has an environment.yaml file, which is what you use in Conda for Python. It installs a couple of libraries. Uh, and then you have this, which specifies the version of R you want. And then you can specify a bunch of R libraries that you want to install. Uh, and it will build that image for you. And you can run it in my binary.r in your HPC cloud, in your HPC system on your local machine. So this is a proof of concept. Uh, you can work with any spawner. So if you already have your hub running, that's you to learn or whatever, you can integrate that, you can put this into that. Um, and you can separate, this separates the image building process from the running process. Uh, so you can uh, you know, do this that you normally not do an HPC system for like say you can promise even, but by separating the image building from the running, you can provide better experience for users. So please, please come talk to me if this is 